All right, you guys, so we are currently in Daytona, Florida, man. Listen, we're over by the Speedway. You know what I'm saying, the Speedway? Listen, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I had, it's about to rain, man. I went on my mans to get here. I had to meet them in Daytona. I ain't gonna lie, I did something kind of like tacky, y'all. I forgot my leash at home, so I had to grab something out the trunk, let this boy go to the bathroom. Y'all know he aggressive, so I had to grab something real quick. Drake! Boy, that boy look good. Comment down below, that boy look good. Yes, sir. But I'm letting him use the bathroom before they get here, because I'm just gonna pull him, because this boy right here, he, um, he got anger issues, man. He be tripping. Go to the bathroom one more time, Draco. One, one more time. Go to the bathroom one more time. Always let your dogs go to the bathroom. Your males and females, actually, both of them. Let them go to the bathroom before you do a breeding, man. You don't want no C, you don't want no P in your semen, because that will kill your semen. All right, CB Killer family, listen, this is going to be a short, quick video today. Um, just explaining and showing you guys how I get prepared um, to what my litters, the things, some of the things that I use, um, some of the things that I do just to get prepared. Um, you guys know my Frenchie, she's due tomorrow, which is Monday, the 8th. Um, I'm having a little dilemma. The dilemma is this, you guys. Um, so we did two TCIs on her. We did one on March 8th, 9th, and one on March 10th. So, um, my vet told me to come on the 8th. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But what I, and I, and I was kind of like iffy on that because again, you know, technically day nine should be the day I get her C-section, but it's okay to take them out early, but not too early. Like you want to make sure they're fully developed, all the puppies. Um, that's why it's good to get reverse progesterone, but good the thing about that is my vet will do a reverse progesterone in the morning before my C-section just to make sure she's ready. But so just a little bit of um I don't know, she don't she not messing with YB in there. But hey girl, hey girl. Just a little bit of the things that I have, you guys. So I got my Felice, I got five small ones. Well, one of them over there with YB. I got five small ones, one big one. So you guys, I know you guys probably like Tommy. Why you don't use the um? Why you don't use your incubator no more? I have my incubator still, but I do not use it, man, because I don't want to over complicate anything. So as you guys can see, I'm not using my big welcome box. I'm using this one because they're Frenchies. They're gonna be super small. And this is a small female, so they're gonna be very tiny. So there's no need for me really to use a big, nothing big. So I'm just gonna use this. Um, I got my one heating pad, you guys know, because again, this heating pad takes up the whole thing, and I don't even need to put two of them in there. That's the good thing about this heating pad. I like that about this heating pad. Um, but I'm going to keep the heating pad low, and I'm just going to put a fleece over the top. So no need to have the heating pad too high. Um, and over here, you guys, as you guys can see, that's my, I don't know why that's there. But I got my wipes. I got my puppy pads, I got my milk pressure. I'm going to get another can of that. Oxymamas, these are postnatal vitamins for your female. Um, you guys know, you gotta be checking your female's temperature. You need to be checking your female's temperature when she's about to give birth. Also, you guys, in this right here, as you guys can see, I have my tube feeding kit. It's a tube feed about the two feet, so I got that. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys. I think she's giving me the signs of, um, Going into labor, but I haven't checked the temperature yet. I'm gonna be checking in a little bit, but I'm very excited. Um, I got the cover in there so she can like start nesting. Again, you want to make sure you keep your eyes on your pregnant females. They'll start to give you signs of um going into labor. But you guys see what she's doing right now? She's licking it. I'm guessing she's she's she might be leaking um, the amniotic fluid. She might be leaking, and that's what she's licking up. But I'm keeping my eyes on you guys. Know. Um, so you guys, when y'all whipping this litter, man, you don't have to overcomplicate anything. You don't have to overcomplicate anything. Please don't overcomplicate it. Um, don't do all the extra shit. Just, just, just let the mom dog do what she have to do if possible. But if not, and you have to step in there and you have to tube feed, you have to bottle feed, make sure you know what you're doing. Me personally, I don't bottle feed no more. I tube feed because it's a lot easier for me to tube feed. It's a lot simpler for me to tube feed. Um, 
But, I mean, that's just me, you guys. That's just me. Um, but, like I told you guys, that's my setup. Come here, girl. You okay? I'm excited, man. Who excited for this litter, man? Y'all comment down below, man. If y'all interested in something off this litter, man. Y'all comment down below. Merle Grinch puppies, huh? All right, y'all. But, so far, this pregnancy has been good. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This has been a smooth pregnancy so far, like... Everything been smooth with this pregnancy. And this little setup over here, I think I like it. I'm doing less as possible. But again, you guys do know. Y'all know I got. Now, you guys know a worst case scenario. I have everything I need right here in this closet. I got my oxygen machine. I got my incubator. I literally got everything I need in the closet right here. I go my incubator and everything. So if I need to, like, get in there and use it or anything. But I try not to use it if I don't have to, like... Again, I don't want to complicate shit because when I first when I first had my first micro litter, man, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to need this, I'm going to need that. I was overcomplicating things and I was losing puppies off of the script of me just doing too much. So don't do too much. Like, some of the things you want to make sure you got when you want up a litter is incubator. Just to have it. You don't need to use it. Just to have it. But some of the things you're going to need, you guys, when it comes to up and litter is an incubator. You're going to need some heating pads. You're going to need some puppy pad. You're going to need some wipes. Uh, because, again, I know it sounds like a lot, you guys, but some of these moms, whether it's a Frenchie or a bully, especially if they're first-time moms, sometimes they won't do their job. Especially if they're getting C-sections, man. They get out of C-section, they're still kind of like iffy about the pups. You got to step in there and you got to do it yourself. So um, you want to get some bottles just in case you want to bottle feed, some um, syringes for tube feeding. You want to get some milk replacer. You guys remember I used to come up, I used to have my own formula or whatever, but I, I, I don't do that no more, man. I just use this. Like, I don't have time to be making all this and that. I just, you, they have two different ones. They got the one for, this one's for newborns in six weeks. You see it? So that's what I use. I just add a little water to it because it really pretty much had everything you need. I add a little goat milk to it, but other than that, I don't add anything else to it. I let it just rock with that. And um, you need some Feliz. Everybody do it different, man. Some people use heating lamps. I do not use heating lamps. Reason being, I used to use heating lamps, man, and I then I lost literally like a whole litter with the heating lamps because I had the heating lamp too close. It got too hot. And y'all got to think about them heating lamps. Them heating lamps sit above and they sit down and they shine over the whole litter box, the whole like weapon box. And you want to have your weapon box or weapon area, wherever it's at, able so they're able to like when it gets too hot, they're able to move from like, let's say you got a heating lamp, they're able to move away from the heating lamp, or let's say you got a heating pad, they move, they're able to move off of the heating pad. But I'm so tentative to, I'm gonna say it slowly, guys, so y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm so tentative to my litters and to my puppies when I have them, I don't really have to worry about nothing happen like that because I literally sleep right here on this couch, right there by them. So like, I'm on, I'm on point. Some people, like, when they're new breeders and new uppers, you know, they be in the how they end up falling asleep or they sleep over the alarm because they got to eat every two or three hours, so you got to be on point with that. But I know it sounds like a long process, but just make sure you're on point, you guys. Um, you guys know I'm going to take out through the whole whooping process, the whole whooping stage of the litter. Um, but I'll catch y'all tomorrow, man. I love you guys.